Steven. We are on the scene of breaking news. Part of 31st Street in Tulsa is shut down right now near Yale after a deadly crash early this morning. News on 6's Jonathan Palasik's live on the scene. He has the very latest from police. Jonathan. Well, Tess, good morning. You can see right here behind me that it, this is still a very active scene. We've got Tulsa Police and Tulsa Fire, and we're going to go ahead and kind of give you a look at everything that's happening right here. As you can see, there are a lot of officers and firefighters that are kind of out, uh, you know, kind of behind these two fire trucks right here behind us. And they've actually got a, a good portion of 31st blocked off. In fact, uh, drivers are unable to go east on 31st uh, here near Yale. And even this, uh, this uh, parking lot with uh, a few of these, uh, these buildings and businesses uh, has been, uh, you know, roped off, taped off and everything, and officers and firefighters are still trying to get everything, you know, assessed and cleaned up. And Tulsa police, they tell us that a man driving a Dodge Durango was headed eastbound on 31st around 2 o'clock this morning when he lost control and crashed into a concrete barrier. Police say construction workers saw the driver zigzag through a construction area at a high rate of speed before the crash. They saw the vehicle... Uh go by, you know, 89, 80 to 90 miles an hour and then heard a loud uh, crash sound. Uh, but they, they didn't actually see the, the collision that they heard. Now, officers say that uh, Tulsa firefighters had to pull the driver out and tell us that the driver died at the scene. Now, again, Tulsa police are still here, and it may take a while to get everything cleaned up. Uh, they plan to investigate the crash further to see if there was uh, anything else besides high, a high rate of speed that may have contributed to this crash. And so we'll have an update for you here in the next few minutes. Live in Tulsa, Jonathan Palasik, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.